Hi everyone, New England Gardening here. Um, this is the temperature controller for a heat mat. Uh, this one particular name was Hydra or Hydra Farm. I think it's pretty generic. People just put different names on them. But uh, I had two of these and I'm pretty sure they're older than five years old. And um, I was using them in the lean-to that I had uh, in a greenhouse type of environment. And I think that um, I just had this off for a while after I got through using it. And uh, I was sort of in a you know hot, humid environment. And I go to break these out this season, uh, this year to use and one of them didn't work when you plug it in it should light up and this did nothing there were no lights on I wish I had had the camera going uh, so I decided to investigate thinking well maybe there's a fuse there is a fuse right here uh, inside that I mean it's it's soldered in so you would have to have some soldering skills if that was the problem. Say you had a surge or um, power go out and on for some reason to blow that. Um, but yeah, I, I started thinking, you know, it was more complex, maybe some components I could visually see if they were bad and I would try to do a repair. I got the data sheet for a chip that was on there um, and was investigating that. I thought I'd given this a wrap, you know, on the counter, um, but maybe I didn't or just didn't do it enough. So after I had this disconnected, um, I went, this is how I fixed it. This is a relay, and this is a normally open relay. So when you plug it in, <clears throat> you should hear a click and this relay completes the circuit to power up this whole unit, is my understanding. So how I fixed it, I just randomly said, let's give that a try. And it clicked, everything turned on, and it's been working uh, ever since. Um, I have an extension cord here somewhere. I think it's still plugged in. Let's see here. Don't do this at home. I'm a trained professional. I don't think that's plugged in. Let me plug this other end in. So when I plugged it in, that was a simulation of what it did. The first time I went to plug it in. So you should hear that clicking. Um, I noticed that there's a lot of re you can just buy this temperature controller so I'm wondering you know there must be a market for it and how many of these got thrown out when it, the relay just got stuck for not for um, not being used for a while um, the like I said I got two of these the other one I never had a problem they're not exactly constructed to uh, keep out a greenhouse type of environment. You know, this is more for indoor use where you're starting plants inside. Um, not a, a harsh environment. So I think in this case that that's probably why. Although the relay seems to be kind of sealed. But like I said, it's worked since I gave it a little wrap with my finger and if you have come across this problem give it a try you don't even need to I don't know if you need to open it or not if you if you do open it there are just four screws on the back that go into the top face separate the shell and uh, just give it a wrap with your finger and put the cover back on before you plug it in again um, 
or you could just just don't stay away from the inside when you go to plug it in and give it a wrap and uh, that should or that might solve your particular problem in case in my case it did and I mean they're not they're inexpensive maybe under twenty dollars for just the controller but why spend that twenty dollars when there's nothing really wrong with the one that you have uh, save it from going to a landfill so I just wanted to highlight that and uh, show you particular situation I had and if you have the same problem give it a try and it might fix your problem too so this is New England Gardening thanks for watching